What is up, YouTube people? We going special today because this is the first 2021 project that I am reviewing on this channel. And I am so happy to announce that I am reviewing Huck's Tales, Hayuk's Tales, Hyuk's Tales, however you pronounce this, by Jasmine Sullivan. So let's not waste any time and let's get straight into it. I know what y'all want. So the album starts off with Body's intro. Now I found this very interesting because this sets up the whole idea of the album. So at first I'm listening to this and I was like, since when was Jasmine Sullivan so explicit? I never remembered her being explicit in her previous songs, you know, like Bust Your Windows Out My Car, the Dream Song. I never remembered her being this explicit, but with this album, it threw me off just a little bit. I wasn't like mad or negative or anything. It didn't change my opinion on the album. I just found it interesting that I started to get more of a grown, grown woman Jasmine Sullivan. So yeah, it starts off with intro bodies and she's basically talking about, oh, I've done it again, where I've gotten wasted. I woke up in some random place, some random nigga's apartment, and you know, I keep stacking my body count up. And I thought that was a very interesting way to in uh, start the album off. So that, that was pretty nice. It kind of gave me an expectation for what we're going for. And then it moves into Antoinette's Tale, and that's when I started to get the concept of this album, especially when I was looking at the track list. I saw that there was tales in the middle of each, like, two or one song. I was like, okay, so there's definitely a concept here. So I was looking at Antoinette's, I listened to Antoinette's Tale, and yeah, it was basically her emphasizing on the uh, intro track. She's like, oh, oh, no, I'm lying. Antoinette's Tale is where she was giving her, her, like, dialogue or her monologue about how when the males of society like us, we've been grown up to be so self-absorbed, and now when we get a woman, like we start, the woman starts like telling them false pretenses, like, oh, the pussy is theirs, but in reality, it's the woman. The woman should be so like, she should respect herself enough to be like, no, I know where to draw the line. And that's where she was like, we give so many agents, they gave, they give, they give so many agencies and corrections on their body, but they just gotta keep, they gotta remember to tell themselves that this is ours, like nothing belongs to you. Just because you're self-absorbed, just because you're living in a world where it's against you, that doesn't mean that you can grab hold of somebody else and, you know, take their, take, take, strip them of their like identity. So I thought that was interesting. So it goes into the first real song, Pick Up Your Feelings. And it was basically that, based off Antoinette's tale, when she was like, Oh, look, I don't really need you. Um, you have no power over me, so I can do what I want, basically. Don't don't drag yourself underneath me just because I'm doing better for myself and you want to have control over me. So I thought that was interesting as well. And then we moved to Ari's Tale, and this was featuring Ari Lennox, girl from Dreamville with J. Cole and them. And she was basically giving her, mon her monologue about how she's, like, she is a very intelligent woman i'm sure she is and she's basically giving her like backstory about everything but when it comes to her man or not her man she just says that she'll lose and drop everything over you know dick she'll drop everything over that doesn't matter what's happening or whatever is going on in her life like that's her rejuvenation i guess she was giving she was giving some very descriptive details that I'm really not trying to remember. It made, it made me a little uncomfortable. I was like, oh, okay. So it was a little uncomfortable to hear her talk about that. She was like, it gives her a new refreshing view of life or something. And that's when it moves on to the next song with Put It Down. And this is a real like explicit R-rated song. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, it gets even worse from there with On It. So Put It Down, she's talking about, you know, how he put it down and how she'll drop everything. And there's a lot of women that we know like that that will really just drop anything for their side piece. And it doesn't matter what he got going for him. Just like they said in the song, you know, he's doing absolutely nothing with life. But when she come over, I mean, 
she's doing absolutely nothing in life but when he when she comes over then that's his only one good purpose that's his only purpose really just to make her just to satisfy her and i find it interesting how we come from a self-absorbed music industry where you know we have rappers and males always talking about oh you know she's like that's her only purpose is just pussy that's about it and i find it funny how jasmine flipped the tables with this song and said now you're the only reason that i'm you're the only you're the reason I'm using you. You're just a tool. And I found that to be very empowering. That That's another thing. This album is very women empowerment. Like, I, it was very empowering. And it made me a little uncomfortable to listen to at times because I sometimes on this album felt it wasn't for me. This album is not meant for me. It's meant for the women. It's meant for women of this generation. But I don't know. That was It was, it was interesting, though. So then we move on to On It. And I feel like On It was the song where you saw Ari Lennox in the track list and you're like, uh, where's Ari Lennox on Put It Down? So she purposefully, I felt like she purposefully did that so that people would be like, oh yeah, I'm most definitely giving you an R Ari Lennox feature. Don't get it twisted. And that's when it got real nasty. It got dick down pussy nasty. When you was talking about on it, she's like, oh, I'm gonna spit on it. I was like, uh, that was the track I was a little uncomfortable on. I was like, uh, should I skip it? Should I skip this one? But it was still cool. It was pretty cool. The beat was nice. The beat was nice. And that's when we move on to more stories. And we moved on to Don Donna's Tale. Um, this was more like a gathering of women. And you had, I guess, Donna, the one preaching in the middle. She was basically saying that she made one valid point that summarized her whole purpose. She was saying, oh, women, you say you don't go around hoeing, but it's still a form of hoeing when you tell your man to do this for you. Um, you tell your man to do this for you, buy you something while you give him the pussy. And kind of a way I see what she was talking about. That's kind of a way of quote unquote hoeing. I kind of see that. You're basically price tagging your man. That's really about it. You're price tagging your man. He gives you what you want as long as you give him, you know, your purpose or what he thinks your purpose is. So I found that interesting. And that's when you move into the song Price Tag with Anderson Pack. And Anderson Pack, just like, nah, just like um album album from uh, Chloe and Haley, where you had Sway Lee basically, you know, giving his point of view from the male side. This was what Anderson Pack was doing. Anderson Pack, uh, he was like, he was turning, he was actually turning the tables if you think about it. He was like, oh, you, you don't even have a job, so why am I even doing all this stuff for you? You're using me, and now I feel discriminated because now you're just using me, and you don't even really have, you don't, you're not even doing nothing in life. I'm just giving you stuff, and you're giving me pussy, and in a way that could work, but. I'm looking at it like it's kind of like a backhand. It's like you're not really contributing. You're not contributing anything. So I kind of felt that. And he had some funny lines too. He was saying, um, he had the line where he was like, "Oh, um, my child, my child came out a different complexion." I was like, "So you cheat on him while he still gives you stuff? Like that's like perfect description of today. Like there's there's people out here like this." There's people out there like this. I don't know any personally, but there is women that will that will do fucked up shit. Just some fucked up shit. Now I'm not saying all women, so don't jump on me. Don't jump on me. Don't jump on me. But there's women like that. So I found that pretty funny. That was a pretty funny track. Then one of my favorite tales was Rashida's tale. Rashida's tale. This is where we get the perspective of the gay girl. And she was like, oh, I I met this female and her she introduced me to her friend, the female's friend. And I ended up sleeping with the female's friend and it ruined the engagement that we had with um, the girl I was with because she found out. So I was like, wow. And she was sitting there saying like, I don't understand why I did it. I don't know why I did it, but it just happened. So I was very, I was like, interested i was like that kind of sounds that sounds like a movie or something like i'm pretty sure that's been an idea in a movie but i found that interesting and then that's when it moved on to the track lost one where it's about that tale and she was saying oh she feels bad she feels bad that she did that to her significant other and she was like oh please don't love anybody else because it will hurt too much but 
that's kind of your fault. You shouldn't have done some fucked up shit. And I feel like there's a background story to go with that, which connects to the other tales that I'm about to talk to in a minute. But like that connected to the other tales. So later on, you get the precious, precious tale right after Lost One. And Precious was saying, I didn't really like her point of view. She was basically talking about, oh, I grew up not having anything, so I, of course I'm gonna go towards a man that has all finances. Like, I want him to contribute to whatever I'm doing. Like, I don't want a quote unquote broke nigga. I don't, I don't find interest in him. I want the nigga that will get me to where I wanna be. And first when I heard that, I was like, you sorry suck a piece of shit. That's the people I really hate. I really hate those people. But, but, she cleared it up with the next track where it was focused on her, the other side. And I guess this was the take on Precious's tale when she was like, oh, I came up from nothing. And I don't know, Jasmine kind of made me, she kind of made me feel bad for that girl. The girl that I had the most envy for was the girl that I had the most, the most like care for in a way. The other side, she was basically just speaking about how she wants big dreams. She has big aspirations to be something big and she can't get that when she's not with the significant other that is not contributing anything to that cause and in a way i felt i kind of felt it i was like yeah that's that makes sense that makes sense and there's girls like that you know they're not they're trying to get big so it made me it made me sympathize with that and then we get to amanda's tale and amanda's, amanda's tale was basically like the side piece like nobody actually sits down and gives like a thorough analysis of what the side girl feels like and this is what she feels like she feels like when she looks at these models on instagrams or social media or look at these girls that are like on their shit she feels like well i can't be them but i know one thing that can put me up there is my the way i have sex my sex like my pussy my pussy my pussy is the one talent what did she say she said that feels like my superpower sex is my superpower and I was like, wow, wow, you never actually hear that. Sex is my, well, I'm sure that's what they be thinking, but you never hear it out loud. Like, sex is my superpower. This is the one thing that I know I can get attention from. And I thought that, I, I thought that, that was pretty deep. And please tell me if there's females that feel like that. I mean, like, I'm, I'm shit, I'm listening to this album. I'm already in that life. Like, I'm just, I'm astounded, like I never knew that this is what peak females was thinking. And then that's when you lead into the outro track with uh, her featuring her girl like me. And she's basically emphasizing on Amanda's tale where she's like, I don't understand why I'm getting treated like this. Why am I getting blocked all of a sudden? Like when you're a side piece, then you have limited temporary, a temporary spot in that person's, in that person's life that you're messing with. So you don't even look at their feelings and then he tries to, she tries to figure out why am I being treated like this? Like why is a girl like me, somebody that's giving my partner whatever he wants, well not whatever he wants, but I'm giving him what he really wants. My pussy. And he's treating me like shit, like dog shit. I thought that that is really dope. That is really sad. Oh, and she even said it in the Amanda's tale. She said it in her tale, sorry. She said that, oh, I can't, I feel like this is my superpower, but at the same time, it's sad. And I was like, yeah, that is pretty sad, but I'm not judging anybody for it. I don't judge people. So overall, I thought this album was very exceptional. It was, a, it was a concept that I was actually interested in. And for the people that kept blowing it up, I was very thrown off at first because I was under the impression, just thinking musically of Jasmine Sullivan's career. I was like, oh, is she really still relevant? And why are y'all like, I feel like, didn't she put out something before this? Why didn't y'all hype this one up? Hype that one up just as much as y'all hype this one up. But now that I've actually listened to it and indulged in it, I understand why. This is a good concept album. Now, for my taste, I'm not gonna re-listen to this over and over again. Maybe if, maybe if I have some like friends in the car, mostly female, and you know, they wanna ride out to something, I'm gonna put this on just so it can fit the mood. But me personally, I don't really have any desire to listen to this. It's not bad music at all. Cause the music is very exceptional in this. Like Jasmine really has good vocal ability. 
but me specifically personally i'm not re-listening to this it's not meant for me i feel like it's not meant for me it's just not it's not something that i want to re-listen to over and over again like the content is cool but it's not for me it's just not meant for me but y'all should most definitely check this out y'all have not listened to it check this out check this out like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch y'all again later. Give me y'all suggestions. Tell me how y'all feel about this album. And yeah, hit me up. We out. Why you always on my line? Putting your peace over my and more damage than the sword So had to pick and choose Always the type to bend the rules Glad to say I graduated Couldn't always get to school 